Hey YouTube, this is Itchy, and this morning on RSOE EDIS, the emergency alert system, uh, there's a hazmat, uh, radioactive hazmat symbol showing up for Vermont. So I started to look into this a little bit and found a few interesting things that I wanted to share. Uh, details on this event, um, they considered the area of the Vermont Yankee nuclear power plant. But the power plant is actually located down here in the state of Vermont, and the lake that is being referenced as having a radioactive hazmat situation is up here. So I was interested in, in looking into that, and first of all, I wanted to look at the history of the plant, and um, there's a long list of problems associated with Vermont Yankee. Uh, it is running the general elect electric boiling water reactors, the same type that blew up in Fukushima. Uh, these are the reactors that are nicknamed double-decker beach bombs because the spent fuel pool is located on the top floor of the reactor where an explosion would scatter the uh, radioactive rods all over the place just like it did in uh, reactor 3 in Fukushima. There's also a notation on here that the fuel pool is full. Uh, Vermont Yankee spent fuel pool is nearing capacity. Uh, this plant was supposed to be shut down. In fact, um, it was shut down for a while, and then on March 21st, the NRC reissued the operating license for an additional 20 years, despite um, numerous radioactive tritium leaks, misstatements and testimony by plant officials, a cooling tower that collapsed in 2007 from uh, rotting wood and um, corroded metal, and other problems. But the NRC renewed their operating license. So the reason for the hazmat situation, and I'll put links to all of these articles at the bottom, is that um, there were some fish that were being studied in the lake in northern Vermont, and the fish taken had um, high levels of strontium-90 and cesium-137, that were similar to the Connecticut River near Vermont Yankee where there's been uh, numerous leaks in the past. There was a meeting on February 3rd and this guy named Bill Irwin who is the Chief of Radiological Health for the Vermont Department of Health said that um, he, he detailed the results and I'll clue the link so you can look this over yourself that there's evidence that all the fish in Vermont are likely to have radioactive cesium and strontium at these levels and that they have hypothesized it is from nuclear weapons fallout and the releases of Chernobyl. There is no mention in this article about Vermont Yankee. There's also no mention in this article that there was a study done and published last year that showed the amphibians in this lake, um, green frogs, leopard frogs, tadpoles, and salamanders all have high rates of mutations. And I have a paper here. Now of all the mutations, this is what the breakdown was. 38% of them had reduced hind limb segments. 5% of them had eye abnormalities, 15% had forelimb malformations, 8% had complete but malformed hind limbs, and 34% had reduced hind limb segments or elements. And if you've seen what some of the kids look like around Chernobyl, you'll know that um, that is a, a common malformation that comes from radiation exposure, but I think that it's really interesting that they've tested amphibians and found high levels, yet there's no mention of that in this guy Bill Irwin's report. There is no mention of all the releases that have come from Vermont Yankee in the past. 
And there's also no mention of the fact that this plant, and let me show you on this uh, CNN Interactive, okay, the plant, the, the lake in question is right here. This is Lake Champlain that had all the um, amphibian mutations from last year. The nuke plant is down here. And if we back this map out a little bit, okay, look at what this plant is downwind from. Multiple nuke plants in Pennsylvania, in New York, in Ohio, in Michigan, in Illinois, in Wisconsin, and I mean we can continue here to, to go west, Minnesota, Iowa, Missouri, Kansas. I mean this is the way the wind blows people and if this is going on in Vermont, and especially if it really is from Chernobyl, well the entire US should have similar contamination. I find it very interesting that this contamination is only being reported in this area and there are so many uh, numerous facilities that we know uh, are leaking and what this map doesn't show is that there's about 10 facilities here in Ontario as well so this plant or this lake right here is downwind of all of this I'm going to um, enclose a link to a video. Uh, this is a report that came out five days ago from the NRC saying that tritium is leaking in 48 out of 65 nuclear sites across America. Um, I'm also going to include the Vermont Department of Health Agency of Human Services where you can email this guy, Bill Irwin, and let him know that we are not stupid. We do not buy his lame excuse that this came from peak testing or Chernobyl fallout. And you can include the link to the CNN interactive of how close do you live to a nuke plant. And please uh, let us know and respond below this video if you get a response from him. Stay safe.